Okay, so we're in reducing burpees. We're going to use a box nice and high. Anyone with back problems or just starting burpees, make sure you get to know the mechanics of the movement and you consistently move in the right pattern. If you notice there, I'm just starting off with just the step version. So it's giving me no impact within my joints. And make sure it's not too intense until my body understands the movement patterns that needs to be done. I made the box a little bit smaller there to make it harder. Again, you can use plates on the floor or when you want to make it that little bit harder again, you don't use any box at all. This next step I'm doing here, so as I'm stepping, I'm making that a little bit harder by adding that squat in, which will slow it down and probably keep it on pace where everyone else is doing. Now I'm doing the squat version here. It also helps with the mechanics of a squat and gets you in good habits and also conditions the whole body as we're doing it. This next version here is when you're, you're feeling the, that you're understanding the movement a bit more. It's a little bit more dynamic, a little bit quicker. So we're jumping out and we're adding that jump at the top. Obviously anyone with any orthopedic problems would advise a high impact jump. So make sure you speak to your coach first. So again, just like we did at the beginning, we're going to make it a little bit harder by adding that squat. So it becomes more of a full burpee without affecting our back. So we don't have to go down to the floor. So anyone with back problems, this might be a good option for you. Or anyone with vertigo or anything like that, this may help you. If not, speak to your coach. Just take note of my feet there, they don't move in and out, they stay the same distance, roughly hip width to maybe shoulder width. Try not to be moving the feet too much. It helps with the movement, makes it more efficient. Okay, we've got rid of the box now, so this is when you're starting to progress through the move. If you notice, I go back to the step version. I keep changing my leading leg. And again, I'm making sure I'm getting full extension of the body at the top. To make that a bit harder, just jumping out and in. Again, any orthopedic problems, you don't want to be doing this, but make sure that your midline is really tight so the ribs are tucked in. Again, I'm adding a, a squat and then a jump. The step before that would just be a jump. You wouldn't have to add the squat in, so I've actually missed a, a step there. And this is what we're aiming for, everyone, is the full burpee where your chest and thighs touch the floor, adding that jump at the top. And that's your journey of a burpee. Okay, look out for the videos from burpees over bar and box, etc. Hope this helps. Thank you.